Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Messy Gaming. So we are back in NBA 2K24, my team, once again because we are opening packs. But this time, it's not your typical empty packs. Well, the thing is, I have already opened the packs and I'm just here to update you on what I got. This is going to be a more of an update on my Bionic set pools. Now, I've been pretty unlucky in my past videos. You might have watched it. If not, please do. I have been pretty unlucky in the Bionic set pack opening. Spent some BC but still not able to get the good ones. The good Dark Matter ones. Uh, I also locked in but uh, I kind of feel that what I got was pretty neat. So I I let go. I stopped using empty to open packs and I just relied on the packs that we get from challenges and exchange packs. So guess what? I got pretty lucky. So I have recorded some of the lucky exchange packs that I did and I'll be showing it to you here on this video. Well, let's go ahead and look at the packs that I have opened where I got free yes you heard it right free dark matters Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Right, boy. Alright, so there you go. I think this is the luckiest so far that I have been with free packs. Because 
Yes, you watched it right. I got three free dark matters from exchange packs. So basically, this is just a reminder for you to not only do your challenges, but do your exchange packs whenever you can. So when you say whenever you can, that is when, of course, you have available cards to exchange. And if you, you have just watched, I was able to pull Tyler Hero back after I sold him in order to lock in for Joel MB. And then I got Anthony Edwards. And then lastly, I got Chris Weber. Now of this three off, obviously, I am not too happy with Tyler Hero and Anthony Edwards. But I was definitely happy with Chris Weber. And if you look at it in terms of um, the Dark Matters here, I think, uh, yeah, Chris Weber is pretty usable at 6 10 small forward and with a pretty decent release. Of course, I would love to have Ben Simmons, AK, and definitely KD. But next to this three, I'm definitely happy to upgrade my small forward position into Chris Weber. Now, let's see my current lineup and how these cards actually fit. So yeah, well, I'm currently running this lineup as my, be my best lineup, which I use for Unlimited. And yes, it is pretty stacked, especially when I've added the Kembe Mutombo, from, uh, which I got from Salary Cap. He's an amazing, amazing center with, I think, the fastest release so far with the center. So I was able to put Mark Eaton as my starting center and Wemby as my starting power forward. To be honest, between these two, Eaton is better because he can set screens although he seems to be slower than Wemby but in terms of dominance Mark Eaton is really nice and I can still green his shot but as you can see from this lineup I'm currently missing a small forward on the on the bench and that is where Chris Weber will come in now with Chris Weber here this is I'm not even sure actually if he's uh, going to be primary or a or a bench small forward but for the other two unfortunately i don't think i have enough spots for him because if you look at my lineup i currently have three shooting guard point guards playing with clyde drexler as my primary primary point guard and uh booker as my secondary shooting guard and jordan as a an alternative if any of this three any of this point guards uh, well, uh, become too tired so there are times that when you run them that uh, obviously you run plays you score with your point guards and you do a lot of defense on your point guard that they become too tired compared to the rest of the bench and that's where MJ comes in or if during the clutch time where you will need a defensive point guard MJ I think is the best defensive point guard that I currently have in this lineup so he still plays but other than that, I don't see any reason why I should be running Anthony Edwards or Tyler Hero. I've tried them both. Tyler Hero's defense is not good. And Anthony Edwards might be fun, but he's a bit too small at that position. Especially right now that we have Ben Simmons already at point guard position. And him at 6'4", you can really feel the difference. Uh, so... Unfortunately, I won't have any use for those two, but we did got Chris Weber, and we'll try him out. See if he actually plays over Luol Deng. And, you know, I'm pretty excited. Again, I was hoping to get really a small forward for my bench, so I was happy that I get Chris Weber at least for free. And I think he will be useful. At 6'10", you cannot, you cannot uh, be cannot beat that easily i think only him and isaac are the current dark matters that are at 6 10 at small forward and that release is nice very nice oh, i think amari stoudemire as well but i still don't have amari because i don't really feel like grinding um triple threat online right now but yeah since i don't have amari which from the reviews i've seen have a pretty slow release i think weber does have a faster release and it's very serviceable how is his liner i think he does have normal liner and again normal liner is not 
too bad that's mj dribble right so we have a lot of cards playing uh using mj dribble and it's not too bad statistics wise in terms of attributes is almost complete and he also has all badges at least gold so you don't really need to add any more badges for him and i think if there are no ben simmons on the bionic set lineup chris weber would have been the best card there of course aside from the 100 overall kd which i think even at that in this case is still debatable but yeah chris weber really is not is really nice that release is not the fastest but definitely not slow by uh in comparison with other uh bigger players and of course that let's see the tank peter yeah uh i think the world dengs is still better because Luol Deng has a better release and I do shoot a lot with my small forward actually if I did not get a small forward from this pack I'm already thinking of running my Glen Rice when I get him from unlimited as a small forward uh, but of course this is nice So yeah, I think in terms of lineup, this is already good. Uh, unless something comes up this Friday, this will most probably be my lineup for this season. Of course, I'll be getting Glenn Rice. And I'm already thinking if I should replace Devin Booker with Glenn Rice as my bench shooting guard. Or depending on which one is better, either Julius Irving or Glenn Rice will be my starting shooting guard and the other as the bench shooting guard. But yeah, I think that's it for me for today. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell icon on so that you will be updated in case I upload new NBA 2K24 my team videos. Also, comment on this video on what do you think Season 7 will be. Uh, it is coming next week. We only have 8 days left until season 7 so right now we will have another i mean we will have another pack this friday but still it might be good uh just to wait for the next season because i think we will be seeing the first batch of invincibles if not this friday then definitely on the first friday pack on season 7 so yeah once again thank you for watching stay safe stay awesome stay amazing and see you on the next one. Goodbye.